Hello there, my name is Fangs and welcome back to the mines. So we are stuck in the crystal mines and we need to figure out how to get out today. Um, this is going to be an interesting problem. I don't exactly know how we're supposed to actually and those guys hurt so bad. These bug wardens are incredible at how much they hurt and I am already out of potions. Oh no. Yeah, if you don't mind, please don't bother. I That hurt. Go ahead and grab the souls and just continue on our way. I'm hoping there is a way out of this cave. We just rouch. How can you hit me from that far away? It's insane. Whoa. Take number two. We're getting sniped again by these insane bugs with curving bullets. Okay, we've got a bonfire, so go ahead and just touch this bonfire and there we go we escaped the mines now we just have to get out of the swamp we should be able just to get briefly out of there and uh, then we're going to be able to fast travel away from here and we can just simply go right back to the first step well now that i've escaped that hell i need to kill that guy over there but in order to kill that guy we're not going to stab him now we're going to wait to stab him because stabbing him later is easier than stabbing him now however this deer is very easy to stab now so we're going to stab it We'll go ahead and touch the grace. Oh, this one has horns. Do you drop anything special? Just bones. Give this guy a nice pat on the back. And this guy a nice jump attack. Touch the grace. And then we'll also go ahead and sit down. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. So now we're just going to accept her as our maiden because now we're no longer maidenless. I bequeath to you this ring. And now we have obtained Torrent. It will summon Torrent has treat him with respect. By having Torrent, we can now ride a horse around and stab everything that's in our way unchallenged. Ow. There's also a free item here in the back of this. Oh, a Lord Sword's great sword. Before we proceed on, I need to stab some things because I need to get some souls or whatever this is, grace. Because I need to do some leveling up and do some leveling of my gear. So really, we're just going to run around and murder a bunch of things. I want to get a nice double hit on this guy and get paled through the chest. Because I like getting impaled. Oh, there's another chest here. Oh, a flail. That'll be fun. Oh, hi. I didn't mean to bother you. I'll uh, I'll leave. You can uh, you can just stay back there with your guys. Yeah. Peace, peace, love and plants or something like that. I have enough points that I can already get a level in vitality, so I'm going to go ahead and just do that because more health. So now, with this knight thoroughly distracted, we're just going to tiptoe up behind her and stab her in the back. We're then going to summon Torrent and uh, now we're going to exploit her. Or she's going to exploit us. Either way, that's fine. And two more hits and we should have already killed her. Or one hit on her to us. But there we go, she's dead and we now have won. And we get no reward for it. What is this? This is a map. Nice. Okay, so now we know everything there is in Limgrave. Wow, that's... That's a huge portion of the map. I didn't think it would be that big, honestly. Let's go ahead and touch this grace here. Even though it'll reset all our progress on eradicating the world, I think this is a good place to start. Well, actually, it wouldn't have reset unless I sat down, but since I sat down, now it will have. We're going to go ahead and throw another point into Vigor. That way I have a little more health. And there is a man on a horse. Hello.
Okay, I've noticed a very big difference between the samurai and the um, vagabond. The vagabond with the halberd can stab like multiple people all at once. Meanwhile, the samurai kind of is very accurate and precise. The samurai kind of stabs one thing at a time and takes it selectively. Yeah, you there. Stop pretending you can't see me. Well, I'm assuming in the tree is talking to me because it's different color. Why won't anyone look me in the eye? Well, that would be why. Because you you're do that for? you're a bush. Oh, I can't talk to him on my horse. Well, Torrent, you must wait. Oh yes, I remember. It's like a rat Some monkey. Claude turned me into a tree. You were just breaking the spell, weren't you? Thank you. The name's Bok. I was pushed out of the cave. Told not to come back. Not ever. Then I ended up as a tree. <laughs> Lucky you came along, really. Oh. Sad rat monkey. Threw me out of the... So this is all I have to express my thanks. I hope... I have a mushroom. Well... It if you can I hope this is a poisonous a mushroom because I can wipe it on my sword. Sneak back into the cave and bring back something of actual value. Then I'd be. Okay, so you go steal from your own cave, and I will be back to collect the debt. That was very close. Almost just walked off the map there. I assume these are going to be for crafting my arrows for my bow, so I kind of want to collect these. Aw, the body fell off the mountain. Let's go. Oh, there was a stake of Marika there. Let's go ahead and kill these uh, flying demon bat things. I think these will be worthwhile to kill. That gives me an entire 47 souls, so not really. An arteria leaf. I have no idea what good that is. Oh, I need this. Whatever this is right here. Because this is an ash of war because it's silver, I believe. Yep. Yep. An Ash of War, Determination. I am very undetermined in everything I do. Ow. Ow. Can you not? Wait your turn. Oh, wait. This is an actual boss. I thought this looked different. Um, well, this might be... We might be able to win this. As long as I play it Agile, I think I can win on my horse. But if he kills my horse, I would definitely be in trouble. Oh, so don't walk into the blade. That would probably be a very good idea. Oh, no, I just fell. Well, I could have very easily fought him if I hadn't died. Apparently, my souls are above ground instead of below ground. I would think a turtle has good resources under its shell. It just simply has a turtleneck. I wish I could have made a sweater out of that. Oh, my souls are all the way back in the middle here. That's rather interesting. I thought they'd be further towards the edge. Well, that didn't go as planned. Ooh, look at those big guys. Those are like free souls. Actually, normally there's a legion behind them. Before I stab you guys, is there a military of guys following you? Oh, you guys are alone? Okay, well, uh, then, uh, which leg do you prefer? There we go, one down, and the other one just surrenders because he's a big baby. Oh, no, he actually, wow, he stood up. I've never seen them stand up before. Normally, they don't stand up. They just kind of lay down and die after one of them dies. So that's kind of interesting. These guys want to give me a surprise bear. So I'm just going to let them live for the moment. Because I'd like to get my free souls. And goodbye. I'm sorry, giant. But I need your souls. Oh, now, now the rest of the cavalry just spawned back here. I don't want to deal with them because I don't have any health pods. So I just kind of want to sneak around here. And, uh jump up on the back of this and claim my reward and get out of here. Oh, a great axe. It is a beautiful day in Elden Ring. It's very windy, very rainy. I love it. I just now realized it's a statue of like a dude holding someone. I never noticed that before. But we're here for the tree sentinel because this is now where we kill the tree sentinel. Hi, buddy. I'm here for revenge. 
Now we want to get him off these rocks here because these rocks are really annoying to fight him in. But they're also really helpful. I'm stuck in the tree. That's that's very unlucky. <laughs> you have four hands. That would be very useful. I need four swords. I need to general grievous this guy. A spirit calling bell. Oh, that'll be useful. All right. So let's go ahead and mount up our steed. And we're also going to go ahead and equip the spell that we got right there. And uh, I might even go ahead and call them in just for giggles on this fight. All right. This is the time. We're going to exact revenge on the tree sentinel and destroy him once and for all. If I'm not stuck on my wolves. You need to get like positioned correctly because if you go in a little bit off, it's very hard to get the turns right for the rest of the fight. I don't know why. It just is awkward on a horse because you kind of always need to do a right pass if your sword's on the right side. Um, the wolves were actually probably a terrible idea for this because they're going to get in my way and uh, attempt to murder me. But at the same time, they will mess up his aggro, and uh, that can be really good for us, except he just one-shot basically all of them, so they're kind of dead. There we go. We got a nice bleed on him. That'll do a little bit of damage. Oh, no. Uh, hopefully, Torrent's not dead, because if he is, uh, we're in trouble. There we go. Glad you're alive, Torrent. We both kind of missed each other there. Now, he might try and do a jump. He might try and do a shield slam, so I need to be careful. Nope, he didn't go for it. There it is. Oh, no, 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 no. Almost, uh, almost. No, oh, no. Oh, no. Getting stuck in the trees is uh, probably top 10 most annoying things in Elden Rings. And while we were equal there for a second, I was confident that I would never lose. Sorry, Tree Sentinel, but I'll take your halberd. While the rewards aren't too amazing for killing the Tree Sentinel, it is a boss and it is defeated, so I'm gonna go ahead and just dump the points into Vigor. That way I have a little extra health because I found that in Elden Rings, the most annoying thing is how little health you have. In most games, uh, in most soul games, I've never really cared about my health, but in Elden Ring, it just feels like you have too little health most of the time. So I'm definitely going to be dumping a lot of health into this as I really enjoy playing the samurai with just the base katana so far. And um, for this run, that's specifically what I want to keep. In my stream, I am running a Vagabond Halberd right now, and I am looking forward to using bigger weapons. So I'm kind of doing two different builds at the same time, just for fun. All of these extra archer guys are a little bit annoying, but uh, all we have to do is pull this giant back with us. Ow, and I didn't mean to get hit by that, but sure. Stop hitting me. The archers are incredibly annoying. Get our nice bleed stack there. Uh, get stepped on. Out. Get. Get. Uh, I, I. Stepped on. And there we go. Giant down. That was honestly really easy. Sometimes that guy dies really fast. Other times he really stays alive for a long duration. It's hard to believe I actually spent so long in the beginning there. Uh, I've managed to make two videos in the beginning of the game. That's kind of impressive. Technically three, if you include this one. Stormhill, we got a golden seed, so now we can get another flask upgrade, and that'll give us six, I believe. Be wary of up, dog. 
Uh, whoa, there's four. I don't remember there being four. It was rigged. Wow, we are, we're actually one-tapping the dogs with our light attack, though. I can't even begin to complain about that. We'll go ahead and take a nap at our site of grace. We just want to talk to her until she gives us the jellyfish. There we go. Now we've got a jellyfish. The jellyfish is basically my favorite summon item. So now that we've obtained that, we're going to go ahead, hop on our steed, and ride up into Stormgate. And don't forget to say hi to all the locals on your way up. Oh, we have another Ash of War. I need this. Yeah, go the other way. That way I don't have to fight a legion to get you. There we go. Wild Strikes. Oh, there... Yeah, there's a... Uh, there's a launcher. Yeah, you just killed your own men. How do you how do you feel about that? Ouch! Wow. You guys just killed Torrent and now I'm stun locked on the ground. And I just got nuked in the face. Can we talk about this, guys? Okay. I guess we can't talk about it and that's fine. But uh, I do just want to bypass all of you then since I am kind of low. And uh, I don't really have to do anything with any of you. So see you guys. Have fun. Uh, sit back there and die. I don't care, but I'm not going to get involved. I might have to if I don't sit down faster. Sit down, sit down, sit down. I can't sit down. <laughs> okay, I can sit down before that guy gets here. And we go meet our good friend, Bob the Builder. All right, Margaret, my good friend, I'm going to have to ask you to just have a good time with my jellyfish. And uh, once my jellyfish gets your attention, I'm going to leap into action. No pun intended. And sometimes I really get those attacks wrong, like big time. Oh, we got the bleed, poison, and backstab attack there to stack. That was exceptionally good. Can you, uh, can you take a second to, uh, target my jellyfish instead of me? I'd like to heal and not fall off. That was awkward. I almost fell off the map. Can you imagine how embarrassing? Oh, no. Big stutters, big freezes. Oh, yes. We got a backstab. Nice. That's huge damage on him. I'm even going to be cocky and drink a flask. And goodbye, Margaret. I am sorry, but not sorry. A talisman pouch. Nice. Oh, you know, that's something I should have done is grabbed a couple talisman. So basically, she's going to take us to the round table hold, which is like a safe zone. I don't really understand what it's for, and I don't care because there is no safe areas around me. I'm here to kill everything, and that's my goal. All of the faces in this game look the same. I need my Baldican blessing for emergencies. Very warm. Baldican blessing. Let's go. I don't like hearing the metal clunking. I get the feel. Oh! oh, I don't have extra heals right now. Just don't do that. I'm like on hardcore one life mode. So every time I die, I'm losing about, I would say 30 to 50% of all of the runes that I had. So I went from 3,000 down to 400, and uh, that's a little bit aggravating. So that's really disappointing. 
And there we go. The knight's dead, finally. I don't even get a reward for it. I don't even... I have less souls than I started with fighting him, so that's regretful. But, uh... Maybe there's a way to get them back eventually. But with that, I think that's going to be the end of the video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care and have a good one.